Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going to go over how to install the private practice mod, alright? So read through the description if you haven't already, but once you're done with that, click the download button here. This mod requires get to work, so please remember that. That's why I always tell you guys to read through the description so you're not like, Kim, why is this not working? Well, if you don't have get to work, then it's not going to work. You feel me? Okay. So you could press no thanks or you could just donate and then it will take you to the next page. Here is where you're going to get a tray folder file. Okay. And then a actual private practice file as well. You need both of these. All right. So the tray folder is going to hold the actual private practice lot. That's the one you need. And um, the one we just downloaded is the actual mod. All right. We're going to press the download for the tray folder as well. And once it's done, it'll show up in your top right corner of the screen. At this point, you want to go ahead and go to the file explorer icon at the bottom and select downloads. Here is where you will see the private practice file and the tray folder. Okay. Let's get this in a comfortable position and then go back to the bottom of the screen. Guys, if you have Mac, you would have opened yours with finder. Okay. And then you would have located your downloads folder. Now, once you're at the bottom of the screen, right click and select file explorer for the windows users. If you're Mac, you are going to select finder locate you guys' documents folder. Once you do that, double click, then open up your electronic arts folder by double clicking, open up the Sims 4 folder, and then open up the mods. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and go back to that downloads tab that you had open, right click the tray folder and select extract. Guys, if you have Mac, yours can be opened by just double clicking. Then you'll see it in a blue folder. If you guys have an extractor app, you'll just have to copy those files that are in that app because they're already open now and put them into your mods folder. All right, guys. So I think I covered my bases for all of you guys. So we're going to click extract and extract all. All right. Here are the folders that need to go in there, but you are not going to just throw this tray folder into your mods folder because it doesn't go there. It goes in your tray folder. All right. Now we're going to go to the actual mod, which is the private practice one. And we're going to right click that and select extract all Mac users, double click and extractor app people copy and paste. All right. So once you're here, you will now know that this is the mod. So you're going to put that in the mods folder. And when you double click, this is all you should see. All right. Now go back, go back. And once you're here in the Sims 4 folder, locate the tray folder. Once you're here, you'll see the tray folder. Now, as y'all can see, I already had a venue in here, but for the sake of showing you guys, I'm going to just uh, put that folder in here to show you how to do it. All right. And when you double click and you double click, this is what you'll see. But this is too many folders deep and I just forgot about that. So what we're going to do is take that back out put it in our downloads folder, and then we're going to actually double click. And what I do to be on the safe side is I just put these directly in the tray folder. So that way, when I click, this is all I see. And it doesn't not work because sometimes folders don't work if they're too many folders deep, guys. So just keep that in mind. All right. And now once you're done with that, you can go back to your downloads tab and you can delete all this. You don't have to keep all of this. I do get that question. Um, and you can exit out your mods folder as well. Make sure your game options are set. You need your script for and custom content enabled in order for your mods to work. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video going over that on my channel. Also, guys, if you haven't, you know, heard already, go to simplicitysim.com website. In the link description below, you will see that there are two ebooks on that website, and you can get those for more guidance and help. All right. So, you guys, lots of love, lots of light, and until next time, toodaloo.